So Fabius, we're here at a driving simulator and you actually develop apps for drivers. Why did you decide to do this? People already use apps while driving and if you think about it, that's pretty crazy. Some people, they even check social media while driving and that's obviously unsafe, it's distracting. So how do you make driving more engaging but also not distracting? Right, so I don't know about you but I like to play video games, they're pretty fun. So we were interested in whether we could draw inspiration from video games. There's a couple of elements that make them really fun. So for example, uh, there's competition, there's rewards, there's challenge. So we were thinking maybe we can make safe driving fun by making it a bit more challenging, by having rewards, maybe a bit of competition as well. Um, yeah, so that's sort of the idea, yeah. And what does that look like when you've got a game that makes driving safe? Right, so there's a couple of things that you're meant to be doing in order to ensure safe driving. For example, you're meant to uh, keep an adequate distance to the car in front. And in the very early design stages of this project, um, we imagined, for example, the car in front to be a zombie. Obviously, you want to avoid a zombie, and that's how you keep, maybe, people from keeping a safe distance. Now, the current idea is actually about uh, speed keeping. But enough talking about it, let's try it out. This app challenges the driver to reduce their speed to a new speed limit by the time they reach the sign, but without using their brakes or by coasting. It was difficult at first. I didn't get any points because I was at like 42. But it was very satisfying once I got the hang of it. Yeah, I got three stars. Three stars. <laughs> that, so happy. That's really satisfying. And there were other benefits even when I wasn't approaching a new speed limit. It does make me more like aware of my speed. So that was a lot of fun to try out. How did you actually test whether the app was doing what you wanted it to do? Right, so we invited a couple of people in and we had them do a drive with the app and without the app. So then we could compare. Um, and in order to compare, we measured a couple of different things. So for example, we've got cameras in the car and they tell us where people are looking. So for example, whether they're looking at the road or too much at the phone. So that tells us about visual distraction. One of the other things we did is we attached electrodes to people's bodies. And that tells us about physiological signals. For example, we recorded heartbeat, which is uh, one of the indicators for engagement. Okay, and what did you actually find out from that? Right, so I think it's really interesting. Um, we found that during these um, challenges, the coasting challenges, people got a bit excited. So overall, we, we saw more engagement. But um, what's interesting is that the engagement was sustained throughout the entire drive. So even between the challenges, people were more focused on staying in their lane? That's correct, yes. And um, it's important to remember, though, this was just a study in a simulator. So we'll have to try it in the real world as well and see what happens there.